Chris, tell us about the origins of IEG. So IEG started really uh, as a way of trying to break down barriers between systems uh, in healthcare. Um, radiologists were particularly frustrated at not being able to get lab values um, and not being able to share images um, across systems within a healthcare environment. Um, and, and the cost of integrating systems so that information flowed from the general hospital information systems to departmental systems was very high. Um, so uh, it started really as a way of going beyond standards compliance to achieving real interoperability. Um, and HIMSS, uh, with the Healthcare Information Management and Systems Society in uh, the U.S., um, formed a relationship with my organization, the Radiological Society of North America, to kind of um, start a project to publish implementation guides and to do testing to ensure that health IT systems could communicate information effectively. Please describe the configuration of IG and RSNA and HIMS. Sure, so RSNA and HIMS are both primary sponsors of IHE International. Um, and IH International is the organization that kind of oversees all of IHE's activities um, in deployment, which are uh, regionally based, so that IHE Europe uh, uh, controls deployment in the European region, um, IHE USA in the US, IHE Japan in Japan, etc. Um, IHE International acts as the umbrella for that and, the, and is also the organization that publishes the technical specifications, the IHE technical frameworks. So uh, until now, HIMSS and RSNA have been uh, the two primary sponsors of that activity of IHE International. We're now moving toward a model where there will be broader support among, from all of the member organizations um, in supporting that and IHE International will evolve to become a more self-sustaining and independently governed organization. Tell us about the positioning of IHE Europe. So IHE Europe is a vital organization in driving the deployment of IHE standards in the European community. Um, that's an activity that is you know, naturally um, led by people who are situated in the various countries. Um, IHE has relationships with many um, electronic health information projects of national governments um, and supports them by providing the technical specifications and also um, testing services to aid them in implementation of their projects. So IHE Europe um, takes a lead in establishing relationships with um, European government agencies and really overseeing um, implementation projects in, in Europe. Now there's a very um, close relationship among the national and regional deployment committees of IHE so that um, for example at the IHE Europe Connectathon which is going on here now um, there is a team from IHE USA that kind of acts in an exchange program um, and help support testing here at the IEG Europe Connectathon, and then there's a um, reciprocal relationship where a team from IEG Europe comes to the U.S. and works at the IEG North American Connectathon. Um, so there's a kind of sharing of best practices and a collaborative relationship in building the tools and testing processes that make the Connectathon possible and ensure that it occurs um, in a kind of uniform and um, uniformly high quality manner all around the world.